Greetings everyone and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition with me Kemzit. We're gonna be redoing a uh, replay once again with the mission for Divide and Conquer of Henry the Follower, his custom uh, campaign, which is requested by Nyong Kwan and we shall you know comply to this request. Um, yeah, but before I'm gonna be proceeding forward, let me just give you guys a heads up and inform you that if you'd like to play this custom campaign, simply be present at the main menu of Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, press settings button, go to the mods, and from there on, you'll be able to find the magical search bar, where you'll simply have to write the Henry the Followers campaign, and once you find it, simply subscribe to it so your PC can download it, and once downloaded, you can enjoy mission 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and have some fun of course. And with that said, let us proceed with the request of doing a replay in mission 4 Divide and Conquer, which will be played out between year 915 and 934, damn the pronunciations, but conquest of the Slavic tribes in winter 928. Henry's territory already covers the five major duchies of Germany, but the current strength is far from enough to fight against the Magyars. He decides to conquer the Slavic tribes eastward, using the territory there as a front line against the Magyar cavalry. Now, as early 919, Henry I was defeated by the Magyars in the field battle. In 921, the princes of Magyar led the cavalry to attack East Francia and Italy at the same time. Although Arnulf, Duke of Bavaria, finally withstood the Magyars' offensive, East Francia still suffered heavy losses and was in a mess. The sharp arrow from the east has become a force that cannot be ignored by the German duchies. However, the Magyars had a little interest in occupying the city. Their greatest purpose was to loot as much treasure as possible from the East Francia. Thus, after taking Hungarian prince hostage in 924, Henry I managed to secure a 10-year peace with the Magyars, on the condition of annual tribute. Before Henry I, the strategies adopted by the German duchies towards the Magyars were also based on paying tribute and negotiate peace. After all, as long as paying a little money can avoid disturbance of war, so why not do it it, but this time Henry did not want to simply continue his appeasement policy. His submission was to recapture and gain time to build new border forts and train new cavalry units so as to completely eradicate the threat of the Magyars. To establish a strong city defense on the border, Henry must expand his territory eastwards, inhabiting the eastern border of Saxony, where a group of plobbing Slavs organized in loose tribes, and Henry believed that he should seize the opportunity of the truce with the Magyars and march on the Slavs in winter of 928. He attacked the Hevelines and took their capital, Brandenburg. Subsequently, Henry divided his troops in two groups, preparing to conquer the remaining Slavic tribes from both sides of the Elbe River at the same time in a dado so let's just press on forward we're gonna need to quickly do this al alone here and in the meantime we'll also continue trying to capture this space here I'll also make another town here go there gather that press on with these armies here let's move on and there's a lot more textures again to read for us so let's press on <laughs> We're definitely gonna need more town centers and all. Let's go. If we can conquer this place, we shall be great. We'll read those texts soon, my friends, and then move along. Actually, no, let's just read it right now. Okay, so on the northern bank of the Elbe. Elbe destroyed the castle in Lenza, three green to capture the docks. On the south bank of the Elbe destroyed a missing fortress, five purple, and rebuilt the castle in place to capture the city. Destroy the monastery of Bohemia and take seven seals, zero for relic, and place it in your own monastery. Prevent Arnulf too blue from being defeated. When Arnulf is on the battle, I mean, when Arnulf is on the field, he will provide us with more powerful siege weapons. Acquire ironclad technology. Hints, we're not gonna read this, feel free to do it on yourself. Your population limit is 200. You must give priority to completing the tasks on the northern bank while developing the economy, otherwise the craftsmen will not be able to cross the river, which will prevent you from building castle and docks. Unique units of Bohemians powerful heavy crossbowmen that can destroy enemy armor, but they attack later and the crossbowmen attack slower. 
In the battle to capture Lenza on the north bank, you can only use a fixed number of troops. Once the entire army is wiped out, the mission will fail directly. Peace, please be careful. There are few livestock in the wild, win wild in winter, but there are still some animals in some villages and ruins that the Slavs did not have time to take away. In addition, you can look for wild horses on the map. Some Slavic tribes may need them. Remember to offer gold to the Magyars on a regular basis, otherwise they will spend, send more powerful cavalry to sweep the battlefield. Henry I did not want to provoke the Magyars at the time. This time, I mean. Henry's first scouts report that the army led by Count Berengar de Thietmar established a base on the south bank of the Elbe, while the army led by Henry I was assembled on the north bank of the Elbe. The two armies could not meet until Lenza of the north and shore was conquered. The, Bavarian, the Bavarians led by Arnold of Two Blue will also help us in the operation. Their army consists of knights, pikemen, scorpions and trebuchets. Lenza Three Green in the city of Plovian Slavs on the north bank of the Elbe destroyed the castle of this city to get their docks uh, to, to get the docks and plunder the artisans. Havilians. Four yellow are in the east of Lenza, although their capital Brandenburg has been occupied by Henry I. These scattered tribesmen will continue to resist with infantry and archers. However, it's not necessary to use force to deal with them. Messina Five Purple on the South Bank is a well defended city and the focus of this operation where the defenders included heavy cavalry, pikemen and mangonels. The Lutici Slavs in the southwest, five six orange I mean, also have some light cavalry and archers. Wenceslav the first, seven Zion of Bohemia is the southeast for Henry's first ultimate goal was Prague. Before that he must first seize all relics of Wenceslaus to force him to submit. Wenceslaus's first army include heavy crossbowmen capable of destroying armor, as well as knights, siege weapons, pikemen and monks. The bankers eight grey have signed a peace treaty with Henry the first as long we give them money they will not show hostility for a while but it takes a lot too long they will attack treacherously. Their main army consists of Magyar, Hussars, Turkans and mounted archers. Let's go. Well, at least we have blessed them apart. Nice. Oh God. Stay here. So we can continue with the plans and make things easier. Come on boys, keep on making villagers. I would also like to have another town center here so we can get the gold quicker. Well, at least we have some more people we can use to get the farms in. And now that we've captured the place, we can move on. We can now also use the position to farm up some resources. I would also like to quickly build a castle here, just the form of defense in case of some attacks are going to be appearing, because that's going to certainly happen. Uh, we're going to need someone to also scout around over here left and right, so let's proceed forward. And we're going to definitely create knights in here too. Yeah. 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 
Why you guys keep chasing these guys? Because it's just pointless. And why do you even bother sending scouts like this? found some more of these horses, so we'll be able to trade them, I guess. Yes, yes. Let's move on forward and have diversions and other things forward too. I really hate when my guys just chase these men and just work. Of course, now they are seeing gold again. Let's send it to Magyars before time runs out and we can get screwed. There you are. Enjoy it while you can. Ah, let's start farming here. I really need to manage my villages even a lot more better in the future, because this is just horrible. Having idle villages like this? Hell no. side here. Well, you're more livestock and all freely and all. Okay, so what did I have to do? Deliver 10 horses? Uh, help. to help them find their shrine. Let's go then.
before I forgot this. I have to hurry up. There isn't much time left. Let us hope we'll be able to do it in time or else we're screwed. Because this is the only ally that I have to get for the request of Ning Guang. This is where it is, or should be. There we are. You actually help us open it. Okay, sure, there we are. So now they are allied with us, and we don't need to worry about it. And I've done the request of thing. So this is good news, and we're fine now, I think. Now I can focus also on our main objectives. Get in here guys then for goodness sake. How difficult is it to get that? Where do I deliver these horses then? Oh god, of course. And my men are again chasing the enemy. Like a dumbass. Now, this is pretty much useless. We're not able to finish this. Okay, here you go. Let's go! That's it! Damn it, boys! Run faster! Get out of this faster and all, come on! Damn it! Get out of the wood, come on! That's it! Now that we have another farm going good. I mean, nowadays we also have some more money and all that. Okay, uh, let's just quickly see. So, okay, we provide will help you a little. Uh, will also help you in a bit. Let's give our uh, it a go for homeland. The slaves guarding lands that have been routed with the drugs here. My army can pass freely on both sides of the Elbe River. You mentioned that although we can build a transport ship to help the army cross the river but the river is shallow in the winter so we cannot build large warships at present there are a large number of slavic tribes and there are some frictions among them if you can persuade one of the tribes to surrender we can reduce potential enemies uh, i hope you will not forget our peace agreement king henry if we agreed uh, 
if the agreed goal does not pay, we will have to come and ask for it. Better than the break for long-term planning, the money that should be given to the makers must still be given, otherwise we will have no time to prepare for a counterattack. Please do not destroy our homes, those livestock haven't escaped that haven't escaped will belong to you. Okay, we found a ruined village. I wonder if there are still livestock in it. We found an abandoned village. I wonder if there's still livestock in it. King Henry, why are you bringing so many troops to our borders? I don't think there should be any hatred between Bohemia and you. Uh, war needs consumes a lot of resources, although East Francia can still support it. It is still a heavy burden. I thought maybe you should share some of the pressure of us, Duke Bohemia. But we also have to be vigilant. I heard that the Bohemians have recently recruited a, a group of powerful archers. Their arrows can even pierce armor. You actually helped us open the path, uh, open the way to the shrine. It seems that our ally is good will we will help we will pay you regular tribute in gratitude King Henry uh, time to pay okay sure very good news okay sure 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 that's it all right um so what are we doing now as well yeah we need to be careful even though I do have a lot of horses I just do not know where I can send now those horses because I do have lots of horses now and I should be able to deliver it to someone, right? There we are. Let's increase the speed here. There we're getting some nice resources from our friends. Perfect. I also need to make this thingy here but let's also create even more units where we can oh look the enemy is coming of course this is very great let's also move on towards the other tribes here maybe we can beat them up and then get some nice resources as well from them and let's march on i'll send these guys there these however will have to march that way mm, there's still some stone back in gather so let's go forward so Orange is now advanced to the next age as well, which is something interesting to see. And we'll keep our knights here at the ready. Mensa's loss is also advanced, that's good for them. Stick together. are marching forward how about I start taking him then because he's in one why do I s oh yeah right forgot about this entirely start blasting away their town Lol! Dead village to kill with that! <laughs> Trebuchet finally, lol. I mean, at least we have also been killing these tribesmen, so that's good. I should not post too much of a threat anymore. Oh, for goodness sake, of course, they're attacking our men here. Be gone. Kill the villagers. Do not proceed with burning anymore, be gone. There's more people coming that way, perfect. Chase them out. Oh, 
Once the destruction of their castles, then I'll be fine, I think. Boom! Nice, go in. No town centers for you. Big on. Okay, how about we start also proceeding attacking the other enemies here? Let's go. Uh, I'd like to also okay. build a castle here. Or actually, let's not bother with that for now. There we are, they're done. I remember to go with Phil, I knew that if East Franks with a huge. Where a huge threat, but I didn't expect their king to be. To, wait, what? Uh, the king uh, too much so fast. We lost. Okay, sure you have. Now that's it. The enemies have fallen, and they won't bother too much anymore. Well, me so far. I do still have my army here, even though I kind of don't need them anymore. So, okay. Goodness sake. Enjoy. No, we'll just still send them that way. Let's go. Let's go. I cannot give these horses away, so it was a dumb choice to do this, but okay. Let us proceed, my friend. Bohemia shall die. Also, quickly make a new town center. I mean, town center? Church here. Start hacking them. The barbaric section of Victoria, the one are monasteries. Of course, we have. Did you reckon we couldn't? So I'm sorry to let you know, but I can. Should just produce more units. Here we go. With the castle destroyed, we can advance forward, my friends. Let's go. Press on, my boys. At least we have now Paladin, so we're strong. And that's another castle down. Rass on. At least we'll be able to just simply destroy their town and all. Hold on. Okay. 
Yes, we have destroyed yet another of your damn buildings. Let's press on. You guys stay here. Gather the gold. Press on. No, stop trying to capture my enemy. Oh, bless you. Now let's fall back. Because we pretty much finished them all. I mean, at least we have pressed on forward, right? We don't need it. Yeah, let's not bother with this. There we are, they've been defeated. I don't even need to do anything anymore. But I will capture their relics though, so yeah. Alright, let's press on forward. Let's move along, we'll finish the last enemy here. Um, that's it. I mean, I have good economy now, so... Um, I haven't even used all my troops! And even forgot about this little priest over here, what the heck? And again, there was no way to use those horses. Be gone. Some that way. There we are. We have created an entry. All I need is come with me and press on to make sure that our villagers are able to create the castle easily. So let's just simply destroy everything around here. I know, let's talk it over, Henry. I don't want to say back and watch it before I burn my land. I agree to give you gold every year. Just stop. Monsters is indeed peace loving as a room leader with his financial support. Our preparations for this campaign will be easier. For certain. Short castle. Commander Messina, the Saxon army has come to invade our fortress again. If you don't want to repeat the mistake of Brandenburg, act quickly. Well, too bad. You are gonna be beaten, my friend. 
this is so much better. Let's press on. Wait. Go. I mean, I'm kind of done anyway. I'm just gonna try to build this up and we'll be done. I'm gonna smash on with these armies here. Some more people that way, some people that way, some people that way again. This way, this way, go forward. Let's go. How about I actually destroy this castle? Pretty fine, baby. Okay. Pretty simple. Oh god. Watch out. GG! Okay, what do you say? Uh... In an instant, the fortress of Maesia became the castle of East Franks. Their soldiers no longer had a determination to resist and could only surrender one and after another. Now that most Slavic tribes are under my rule, the territories will be key buffer zone against the Magyars. Indeed, and we have lost the perception. Damn you, bastards. Next time we will build forts on the border, train cavalry and must and be ready to deal with uh, attacks of the Magyars. There must be the battle be a battle between us and these nomads. Indeed, there we are. <clears throat> Henry the First army continued the war to the middle reaches of the Elbe. Not only did he conquer the capital of several Slavic tribes, but he also built Saxon's own fortress in Messian. In addition, Henry the First also joined the forces with Duke of Bavaria Arnulf and entered Bohemia by the way. Where the ruler Wenceslav the First had to agree to pay tribute to Henry the First. At the same time, civil strife broke out amongst the Slavs of the north bank of the Elbe River, and different tribes killed each other because of their differences in election of leaders. Henry I seized this opportunity and sent Counts Bernard and Thietmar to lead the army to occupy the Lenza fortress so as to completely control the land that originally belonged to the Slavs in the Elbe River Basin. In the conquered land, Henry I did not implement a firm rule but only the let only let the Slavic tribes recognize his status. The real control of the lands of this land will have to wait until your grandfather. Of course, the most important strategic significance of conquering the Slavs was to establish a buffer zone between Magyars and Germanic duchies. After several years of development, Henry I began to build forts of the Slavic frontier. When the, first, when the time is right, he will tear down the veil of false peace with the Magyars and let the barbarian cavalry have a good taste of the strength after the recharging. Indeed, 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 indeed. Well, we have finished it. I think we've done it quite quickly, in my opinion. So, um, that's it. And finally, we have finished entirely Nyon Konzi's replay requests for now, sadly. Um, but it's just fine. We will be continuing to do those requests. So, I hope you all enjoyed this as well. If you did, give it a like button and subscribe to my channel if you nearly support it. Do you want to recommend something we're recording together? Or would like to give a request like Nyon Kwan feel free to write down comments box below or join my discord server so we can have a chat about it till then i shall see you guys laters